in Snookerland. A chance to patter, chatter, and generally natter with the Natty Mad Hatter, Mr. Jim Davidson! Holder from Slade, it's me, it's Uncle Jim, known to the press as the Mad Hatter. <laughs> Amongst other things. <laughs> now, I've sneaked down to Snookerland to invite you all to a real old fashioned tea party, and there's lots of grub for everybody. <laughs> We've got fish fingers, <laughs> we got fish cakes, <laughs> and cold octopus. Yeah. No, it's all right, actually, it's more tasty than chicken, and everyone gets a leg. <laughs> <laughs> when we catch it. Right, <laughs> so all the fun and frolics, you snookaholics, I'd like you to meet my fluffy friend, the March Hare, played by that well-known character, actor, John Virgo. Snooker's answer to Anthony Hopkins, yes, kiddies? Hare today, John Virgo tomorrow. Here he is, it's Uncle JV! <laughs> They're actually his normal feet, boys and girls. They just painted them on. <laughs> so, look, he's got his legs lag for the winter. <laughs> now, you look a bit miffed, mine hair. Well, so would you be if you'd just been chased up a dog trap by a greyhound. <laughs> One have to prance about in silly gear every year. It's embarrassing. There's people watching this in Salford. <laughs> Do you really think so? <laughs> oh, my brother Bill is. <laughs> Virgo that's watching and all the bit. This is the BBC's new chart. Here, so <clears throat> the new contract is you see, you're trying to remind kids of today what Christmas of yesteryear used to be about. Now, come on, we was in that Santa Christmas's grotto, and Santa was there, a little boy on his knee. You remember that? And Santa said, Hello, little Johnny, what would you like for Christmas? And what did the kids say? What's up, Fatty? Didn't you get my fax? <laughs> Exactly, you got my point. So, this one I'm going to have a beano with a few famous people and lots of lovely things to eat. So, we get back to basics, as the Prime Minister said, whoever he might be at time of recording. <laughs> Who's the guest, anyway? Ah, the guest. Now, see if you can spot them, boys and girls, as I read out from my pantomime book. <laughs> the walrus and the carpenter once went to a snooker hall with Alice and the dormouse. Terry Griffiths and Zoe Ball. Hello, I'm Alice. Is this Wonderland where the fairies come to call? No, no, this is Snookerland where the punters come to pot. Now, <laughs> <laughs> is this Roland Rat making a comeback? <laughs> this is Tabby the Dormouse. Can he have some cheese, please? Because he hasn't had a nibble for quite some weeks. I never said a word. <laughs> well, take a seat over there, Zoe, or should I say Alice, and a uh, big pot of tea to be poured out. <gasps> Am I going to be mother? <laughs> do you are. It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> that makes a change. <laughs> The owl and the pussycat went to sea in a boat they rented from Avis with Tweedledum and Tweedledee, Craig Charles and Stevie Davis! Two little boys had two little toys. 
We're identical twins. <laughs> <laughs> who's D and who's dumb? I'm D. Well, I've got D, but I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Not as dumb as Terry. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least I can queue up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop padding your part, you. You're supposed to say I'm dumb, and we all agree, don't we? <laughs> Give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Tweedle D, Tweedle Dumb. Good to see you, mate. <laughs> Is this what it's come to, Craig? <laughs> From award-winning Red Dwarf to Tweedledum. <laughs> Here we go. Right, twinkle, twinkle, little bet. Who's dropped in with the Cheshire Cat? The Queen of Hearts, so vile and vain. It's John Puss Parrot and Marty Kane! Yeah! <laughs> Your Royal Highness. Thank you. Any advice for your pussycat with his snooker balls? <laughs> Off with his red! Off with his red! <laughs> That'll make his boys go out. Enough of that, Gavin, please. Can we get on with the game now? I'm starting to molt. <laughs> <laughs> game? This is no game. This is serious stuff. Right, eyes down, look in. Let's play. Big break! Yeah! <laughs> okay, all for charity. You're all still as nervous, though. There's proper questions, proper Christmassy questions. Ten seconds of free playing time for each partner, and three questions. Don't, Zoe, don't look. Zoe, I've got to tell you something, right? I must tell you this, because normally, you know, girls come up to me and ignore me. No, they come <laughs> up to me and I say, oh, Jim. And you go, oh, yeah. <laughs> My dad's a big fan of yours. He makes you feel about 400 years of age. So I'm going to get the own back now, because I'm a big fan of your dad's. Did you know at home? Tell everyone who your dad is. Oh, God. Come on. Alan Ball. <laughs> Alan Ball? Kenny Ball. Kenny Ball? Tommy Ball. Tommy Ball? <laughs> Johnny Ball. Johnny Ball! <laughs> I like it. Because it's it's mathematics. There's the sign. You add them all up. It's fantastic, children. This is how it works. Look, you bounce up in the air because it's gravity. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we got Zoe jumping up in the air. <laughs> great. It's great. I've, I really do believe that. It's great. <laughs> Give Zoe a big clap. <laughs> Come on, are they Terry then, is it? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, are you going to... Can you play in that? No, I can't play without it no, either. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how we go. And where's the money going to go to tonight, Zoe? Is what charity? It goes to the uh, Joanne Gillespie Cancer Fund. Joanne Gillespie Cancer Fund? Yeah. Well, it's good. Well, let's see how much money we can get. It's all dead serious stuff. <laughs> oh, love him, <laughs> look. Brown. You look really <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> in that. No, I'm all right now. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, then. Which English mathematician and scientist born on Christmas Day is famed for having discovered gravity? Oh, Isaac, Sir Isaac Newton. Yeah, it's, it's mathematics. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Drop down on your head. <laughs> fell on him. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Which one word, spelt the same way, is described by these two different clues? It's only one word we're looking for. Middle Eastern country and beautiful Christmas bird. Turkey. Turkey. <laughs> Here we go then for maximum time for the Dormouse. Imagine how slow he's going to be in that lot. <laughs> what number do you get if you take the number of partridges found in the pear tree, according to the Christmas song, from the number of wise men who visited Jesus in the stable? Two. Yeah, now then, you've got to describe that why. How many partridges in the pear tree? One. No, they weren't. And you a sing it. Partridge in a pear tree. Oh, yeah. And how many wise men <laughs> went to visit Jesus? Three. Equals? Oh, four. Take away. Two. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's all mathematics, is what you teach your children. <laughs> Jumping up in the air. Adding two and three, it's 
Fantastic. Maximum time, 40 seconds. The answer is two. 40 seconds. Now, come on, Terry, you've got to be the dormouse. You've got to put them balls where the sun don't shine. <laughs> OK, Terry, we ask you to make a break. <laughs> Look at these two no. idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What did you do today, Daddy? <laughs> OK, Terry. <laughs> oh, you may be OK. The clock okay, starts okay. the next time you strike the cue ball. Rest, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, hurry up. Two. Stop, Summer. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. For a mouse. <laughs> Three. Five. <laughs> okay, player number two, Craig. Which American film star, born on Christmas Day, 1899, is associated with the line? Play it again, Sam. Although he never really said it. <laughs> Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> Are you D or dumb? <laughs> right. It is like normal wisdom now. <laughs> <laughs> Which one word, spelt the same way, is described by these two different clues? Not volatile, and the lowly place where Jesus was born. Stable. Stable. Hey, hey, hey. No flies on me, lad. <laughs> Here we go. Maximum time for Steve. Not unvolatile. No, no, you're very... I think you are volatile. I think he's dumb. <laughs> What number do you get if you add the number of days in 1994 to the amount of gold rings mentioned in the Christmas song? 370. Perfect. <laughs> He's not that dumb. <laughs> OK, Stevie. Well, like Bill Werbenick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look like Bill Werbenick, actually. Like yeah. Five to beat, to be certain. <laughs> <laughs> it's them little legs hanging down. <laughs> oh, good break. Can I wear my pith helmet, Sergeant Major? <laughs> <laughs> oh. The clock will start the next time you get your stomach on the table. <laughs> At least I can run. <laughs> well, you look like a jockey from the waist up. <laughs> and it's Steve Davis on the road, on the road goes in, and it's two. Right? And he's coming up now, and he's going to take the number at all! <laughs> What's he doing? I'm in trouble. <laughs> Three. Three? <laughs> Four. Five seconds to go. Oh. Woo. Quick, Steve, hit something. Two seconds. And, Craig, uh, what charity have you picked tonight? Uh, cancer Research, Jim. Cancer Research. Brilliant. Nice clap. <laughs> right, player number three, Marcus, for you. 
Which English disc jockey born on Christmas Day 1944 is associated with the character Sid Snot? Enjoy your tea. And Captain Kremen in his fame for his video show where everything was done in the best possible taste. Kenny Everett. Kenny Everett, yeah, that's correct. Which one word spelt the same way is described by these two different clues? Celebrity and what led the shepherds and wise men to Jesus? Star. Star. <laughs> Correct. What number do you get if you multiply the number of people normally needed to pull a cracker <laughs> by the date of Christmas Day? Uh, 50. Yeah, absolutely. I can't work these out at all. <laughs> I reckon there's a parrot inside that cat. <laughs> <laughs> there won't be a lot of it left, though, will there? No. You're keeping it warm, though, by all accounts. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Guess what he's done in that suit? <laughs> it's all that Christmas pudding, mate. <laughs> <laughs> OK, John. Five to beat to be certain to be in the next round. Oh, nice break. Everton avoided the drop. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that tail. Lovely. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Should have had it neutered. <laughs> One. Oh, got Meow. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber's been on the phone. <laughs> Three. So good can you going. You look nothing like a cat. Good, good going. Be a train. <laughs> Four. Yes. Ten seconds to go. Oh, oh. oh, five seconds to go. Roll this one in. Yes. Five. Yes. <laughs> And what charity is it? It's the Western Park Hospital Cancer Relief Fund. That's wonderful. Well. <laughs> OK, tie break time. Now, one person's got to go out, so this is sudden death. Hands on the buzzers. All of us? All of us, yes. All hands on buzzers. And, and uh, yeah, anyone could answer this. The first answer is the only one, because someone's got to go and drink all the drinks that are left over. <laughs> what weighs more? A kilo of water, a litre of water, or do they weigh the same? <laughs> they weigh the same. They weigh the same! <laughs> Tweedledee, Tweedledum, Dormouse and Alice, fingers on your buzzers. On your own buzzer, Dormouse. <laughs> Tie break number two. Tweedledee there we are. Tweedledee, Tweedledum, Dormouse and Alice. First one. Which film sequel was publicised with the saying, just when you thought it was safe to... <laughs> Jaws. Two. <laughs> <laughs> just in time. Jaws two. <laughs> Oh, I was supposed to pop the balls. You're supposed to answer the question. <laughs> she was very good. It's hard. She nearly, she nearly was out there. Nearly put her foot in it. It was the pressure. It got to us. It, it got was to the us. pressure. It was the pressure. Yeah. Well, there we are. Then what are you going to buy him? Could buy him your new book. Tell him what your new book's called. The Tweedledee. Great Tweedledee. Charles Almanac of Total Knowledge Two. <laughs> Total Knowledge Two. Yeah. And your first out. <laughs> 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 good luck, Craig. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Davis and Craig. <laughs> <laughs> now that you don't get away, because you've got to do one of John Virgo's trick shots, all for Reddies for charity. Set them up. Oh, look at the state of it. <laughs> <laughs> You had a bet on yourself as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I thought we were odds on to win that. I had Steve Davis. I mean, I am not worthy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and we blew it.
You certainly did. <laughs> John, what have they got to do, mate? <laughs> OK, Craig. What I'm going to ask you to do here is to hit the reds and the end one on the left-hand side for the viewers will go in the left-hand corner pocket. <laughs> for us, it's the right-hand side in the right corner pocket. This is your real cue, isn't it? OK. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And of course, the white ball meant to go in as well. <laughs> this is for a few quid. Here's what you can take away, Craig, as we set up ready for your trick shot, mate. Well, Jim, today's special Christmas consolation trick shot prize is £150. Well, John, you say what I I can't believe this. Everybody who does the trick shots uses my cue. I'm using Steve Davis's. It's more interesting. Do <laughs> <laughs> I do this now, then? Yeah. OK. It's Adam on telly. <laughs> I love Christmas. I'm going down these steps. <laughs> this is where we play pocket money, where the players have a chance to turn the points into pounds for charity. Now, what's the rules? Come on. In case people have forgot, it's Christmas. Give us the rules again, John. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? Give me a break. I've been reciting the rules week in and week out for over four years. I'd like to do something different for a change. You mean get the rules right? <laughs> That'd be different. No, I'd like someone else to read the rules. Someone? He only wants someone else to read the rules, that's all. Oh, you'll be telling me next, do you expect Charlie Drake to come out here dressed as a playing card? <laughs> Five of hearts. <laughs> you look like a little joke to me. Do you like me? Yeah. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? Yeah, we're friends. I've been in your show each night, haven't I? Some nights, twice nightly. Mm. Why am I only the five of hearts then? <laughs> Why can't I be the ace of diamonds? <laughs> the five of hearts is the worst card in a pack. <laughs> Especially if you're looking for a running, flashing club. <laughs> Are you a bony fighty playing card? I mean, if, if, if you don't want... I, I could be the King of Diamonds. That's quite nice. I'd like to be the King of Diamonds. <laughs> Shall we let him be the King of Diamonds? Yeah! No, you can be the Five of Arts. And you're on Big Break. This is a very popular family TV show. Never heard of it. <laughs> I got rid of my television set when they took Crossroads off. <laughs> but why didn't you tell me he'd never seen television? Now, how's he gonna know the rules to pocket money? He works cheap. <laughs> was it your idea I was a father of art? Leave him alone, he ain't uh, worth well, it. I'll smash his face. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, this is not. So. Well, you mean to tell me the pocket money is you have to put all them reds down and if he misses a red, you have to answer a question? Yes. Right, and if he misses any of the blue colours, you've got to take a blue the same as the snooker rules afterwards and that they double up in other pockets to make more money? Yes. And you're going to say that if the white goes in, he's still got to wait for me to answer a question and get it right before he say, OK, play, before he goes on again? You're going to say that? I wouldn't mind just being a ten of diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you doing when you leave here? I'm going to go next door to the Paul Daniels show. He's going to stuff me up his sleeve. <laughs> There's a five of arts and pull me down as the ace of diamonds. Oh, then what? 
Then I'm going to be in the bar, so if anybody wants to play with me... <laughs> I'll see you there. Whist? Pardon? Whist? <laughs> I hope so. It's Christmas. <laughs> Nicely. Okay, let's play pocket money. Let's have the teams down. <laughs> right, then this is where we sort the men from the boys and the women from the girls. John, toss a coin. Left side first, Mark. Yeah. Tails. Tails. Tails is correct. Do you want to go first or second? Yes, we'll go first. Okay. Go first. Okay, then, so go and have a sit down with your mm. dormouse. Sure. Now, this is quite simple. Um, I'll tell you what. You explain the rules to the pussycat. The Queen, would you like to go up there, Your Majesty? And I'll meet you at the other side of the questions. All yours, John. OK, John. Well, I'm certain you remember the table. Six red, six coloured balls. Numbers on them are the value in pounds. And, of course, it's for charity this evening. Keep your eyes open for the double pockets. For example, pot the £60 pink into the pink pocket, indicated on the screens at home. It will double up to £120. Bearing that in mind, we'd ask you to make your break. Do you get a white? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, we're, we're not making it that easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Mad Hatter's got the white. Oh, thank you. Mad? <laughs> Nothing wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> OK, John, we'd ask you to make your break. <laughs> oh, good break. OK, Your Majesty, if you don't know the answer, just shout off with his head and we'll play on. Yeah. OK, John, that was one of the best safety shots I've ever seen. <laughs> The clock, st clock starts when you strike the cue ball. Ten oh. pounds! <laughs> Patricia! Miss Black. Right, which Disney cartoon was Cruella de Vil in? Uh, Dalmatians, I'm not one Dalmatians. Correct play. Another ten pounds, that's twenty rest, pounds. Rest, Nicely rest, 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 rest. No time for a rest, you fool. <laughs> OK. Now get out that litter. <laughs> Good oh, shot. Nice bike. That's ninety pounds. <laughs> oh, I've ripped my suit. Should have been done. You could lean across the table a bit more. Miss Red. Oh, in the Good Queen Wenceslas Carol, what lay around deep and crisp and even? No. Brick play. Another ten pounds. Good shot. That's one hundred pounds. Nicely on the seventy pound black for a cat, anyway. <laughs> okay, that's one hundred and seventy pounds. One hundred and eighty pounds. Set of darts. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty pounds. Let's go and see what you can't afford. <laughs> oh, oh Miss Red. I'm According looking. to the Carol, what did Herald Angel sing? Hark. Yeah. Or Glory to the no, Miss Red. Miss Red. Oh, oh, oh! Which snooker player's last name sounds like a talking bird? John. Another <laughs> 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 ten pounds. Quickly. Two seconds to go. John, you're a question. Three hundred and thirty pounds. Wow. Not bad for a cat. <laughs> Very good for a cat. But a mouse is quicker than a cat, isn't it? <laughs> Marty, I don't think this mouse will be. <laughs> he, wouldn't be a, he wouldn't be a mouse for long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he wouldn't, would it? OK, Terry, £330 to beat. We'll ask you to make your break. Couldn't get into the tortoise outfit, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at his feet. <laughs> oh, new tactics. I couldn't see the other side. Back into bulk. <laughs> OK, Oops. would you like the rest, Terry? Um, I know you look a bit tired. Wait a minute. <laughs> OK, Alice, if you don't know the answer, just say pass and we'll plod on. OK. OK. Clock starts when you strike the cue ball. Best of luck. Oh, no. Ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Black. In which TV series did Diana Rigg appear as Emma Peel? Uh, the Avengers. Correct play. For your time, my oh, fancy. Miss Red. According to the carol, how should all ye faithful come? 
Joyful end. Oh, triumphant. Play. Thank you. Miss Red. What does Ades... Can't even pronounce that. <laughs> Which interesting snooker player is known as Nugget? Steve Davis. Correct. Play. Thank you. Nugget? Nugget. Oops. Which way are you going to? Kiss the red. Oh, what a great shot. Miss Red. <laughs> in the carol, ding dong, merrily on I, where are the bells ringing? Uh, in heaven. Correct. Play. Miss Red. <laughs> According to the carol, where did we three kings come from? Uh, one, uh, one in a taxi, one in a car. No, the king from the car. <laughs> That'll do. Late in Orient. <laughs> That's another £70. Wow. <laughs> Doing really well. Then. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Sorry. Who'd ever... Uh, Miss Red. In which spot did the commentator say, for those watching in black and white, the pink is behind the blue? Probably snooker. <laughs> yes, snooker, isn't it? Perfect. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> 160 pounds. Well, the winners there, the winners are Marty and John with 330 pounds. Give me a round of applause, and <laughs> all. Oh. I'm not kissing you, you're all whiskers, you haven't shaved. Well, that was, look at their feet. They're nearly as bad as Virgos are in real life. They are. 160 pounds to take back with you there for your charity. Have you enjoyed it? Yes, yeah, great, thanks. Oh, it's smashing. 160 pounds. I'll tell you what, me and Virgo will have a little whip round. I've taken me empties back, so that'll make it up to 300 quid for you. How about that for charity? OK, give a nice round of applause. Zoe and Terry. It's final time. It's time to play Make or Break for charity this Christmas. Jim Davidson, News at 10, BBC Bar. <laughs> Final time and uh, break them up for the uh, for the old final. Did I do it? Yeah. And I've known what John says about this break is exactly what the vet would say to a cat from behind, not too hard. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, John? It's not bad. Not bad. Okay, Marty, over here, Your Majesty. Five questions for you. If you get five correct answers, five red balls off the table to allow Pussy Cat here, alias John Parrot, get the whole lot down. One minute thirty seconds for charity at Christmas. Everyone wants you to do it. But it is difficult to do. You can do it, but it's going to be a bit warm for you. This is what money we can take away tonight if John gets some balls down. Any reds left on the table tonight, Jim, and our lucky winner's chosen charity will receive £200. Pop the yellow and then also add another £400. Or if the green is cleared, the figure changes to £600. Down the brown and it climbs to £800. While with the blue gone, they hit the magic £1,000. Sink the pink and £1,200 is on its way. Potting the black for a total clearance means that they'll have hit the jackpot of £1,500. OK, Marty, chance to get a few things. It's nerve-wracking, isn't it? It's nerve-wracking, it is, yes. <laughs> You're making me nervous now. No, don't, don't. OK, you animals. Her Majesty is standing by. If you don't know the answer, Marty, just shout at me. OK, as quick as you can. Your time starts now. What does BBC One show at 3pm on Christmas Day? The Queen's Speech. What name is given to December the 26th? Boxing Day. In New Zealand, Christmas falls on which season? Summer. Correct. In which country is Santa said to live? Greenland. That'll do. Which pop group got the number one, but do they know it's Christmas? Band-Aid! Band-Aid. Band Correct. Stop the clock! <laughs> Now, 75 seconds left. That was good, that, wasn't it? And five off. Yeah, the lot off. Yeah, take the lot oh, off if you want. Is. Just leave the white. Better than a saucer of milk, that. <laughs> Unfortunately, that red you're near doesn't go past the pink, so... Well, we'll, we'll have that, that, one, we'll have that one, one off. One off. Well, I'm going to leave that one. OK. All right, I'll, I'll get all the rest, just in case you need it. I'll, hopefully you won't. But, as Jim said, you've got 75 seconds. After that red, you must go for a colour. Then the colours in sequence, hopefully finishing up, potting the black for the maximum money for charity. Good luck, John. Best of luck. Clock starts when you strike the cue ball. Go in. Oh, you swine. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Can't reach it. Can't reach it. Oh, suit's gone. OK. OK, okay there <laughs> you go. That's there it. you go. 
slow. Just go up. Well. Excuse me. Well, it is Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> it is Christmas. Oh, you're not putting that up, are you? I've got to put it up. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Boo. It's all gone a bit. Now, you, you can still do it, believe me. So funny things happen at Christmas. <laughs> Less fall on the floor and everything. I think this green is certain to go in. What a good shot. Great shot. Come on, you can still do it. <laughs> what do you think? Get in. Get it, get it! Yeah! yeah. John. That's it. Yes! <laughs> right, come on, you've got ten seconds. You can do it. Cut the pink in the middle. It will go in. Perfect. <laughs> there Four, you go. Three, two...